going on, dudes? It's your boy Kavari Tech Media back again with a video. And have y'all ever had those days whenever y'all are out on the water, y'all see tons of fish, tons of activity happening, but they're just not biting? Like you're throwing everything that you got at them, you're dr literally dropping a bait right on their face, and they're just not biting. That is what happened today, but it was an incredible day nonetheless. Just being able to see so much fish. Um, also, one of the coolest things happened during this trip that you guys are going to see. And I've been living here for 22 years, and it's the first time that this has ever happened to me. And uh, Mark was down, and it happened to him on his first trip here. So super, super cool. But stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, guys, met up with a super cool dude, MDLR Fishing, a.k.a. Mark De La Rosa. A super humble guy, guys. Go and check him out if y'all have not already. Uh, this guy I've been watching for a long, long time. One day, dropped a comment on one of his videos, and he said, hey, man, let's, let, like, let's meet up. So uh, sure enough, he drove down last week, and we got together and did some fishing, got to meet him. Super cool dude. Um, that is not going to be the, the last collaboration as well. I do plan on uh, going to his waters in the future, fishing that Texas coast, and uh, getting up in the marsh. So um, I look forward to that. But nonetheless, guys, I hope y'all do enjoy the video. Fishing has been a little tough lately, but um, you know, still had an absolute blast out there, meeting new people. And uh, y'all enjoy the video. Leave a like if y'all do. Make sure you guys go and check out Mark. And uh, without further ado, tight lines and good fishing. It's a boy of our tech media here. All right, so we got some good news today. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, the Texan <laughs> himself. Check him out, guys. What's up, everybody? MDLR Fishing. Guys, I've been watching him for such, for such a long time. Uh, really, like, really just one of the avid kayak fishermen who really just loves it. And, uh, guys, if y'all have not checked out his YouTube channel, make sure you guys go and check him out. Um, really just down to earth, super fun. And, and, and he catches a lot of good fish so but we are out here and we are going to be attempting to get on some bridge donkeys down in texas he goes for something called a marsh donkey but, but up here we call them bridge donkeys so uh that is the game plan guys we are out here at bob sykes bridge and uh we are about to put the yaks in the water and go after some big sheep's head and maybe even some some black drums so um should be an epic day hopefully we get on some fish and uh yeah, folks, hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like if y'all do enjoy and uh, any type of comments as well. And let's go catch some fish. All right, guys, we're out here. And once again, we're having these foggy mornings. It's just this humid, humid, warm air is just coming up, uh, you know, with the south wind. And it's just super foggy. But we are making the voyage right now out to the bridge. And then we are going to get some baits down. And let me show you guys what we're using real quick. We're using just a standard Carolina rig, as you guys can see. Um, about two and a half feet of 25 pound leader. Um, I used to use 15 pound, but I got tired of all these big bridge donkeys breaking me off. So had to upgrade a little bit. And that's what we are doing, guys. We got Mark, MDLR fishing. Yeah, folks, we're almost out there. It's gonna be an epic day, hopefully. I would try and drop like like right next to it. But yeah, those were definitely sheep set. Oh dude, there's a stud right here. Oh yeah. Those those are those are sheep said. Alright guys, Mark is hung up. I got it. I just need a swivel. Alright. I'm gonna go drop him off a swivel. So update folks we are seeing tons of sheep's head um i've already seen probably like at least six or seven but they're on top of the pylons and um you know they're just kind of cruising as of right now but they are definitely here like we're, we're we're seeing them and uh right now they're being a little finicky they're not wanting to bite anything right now but um 
we are going to continue to target them. And Mark just got hung up, so I'm fixing to go, fixing to go drop him off a swivel real quick. And uh, I just, I just saw two. Two of them. Yeah. Good. Yeah, man, there, hey, there's some, I caught one last week and it weighed uh, 6.71 pounds. So, I mean, there's some, there's some good ones here, man. All right, fellas, y'all feel free to roast me for not having all the tackle. Again, I don't do this, so uh, kind of go easy on me. <laughs> We're always for getting something. <laughs> Whether it be the net, the cooler, your GoPro battery, your GoPro SD card. Do you have any uh, scissors, Mark? Yeah, I do. All right. Oh my gosh, Mark. Dude. Oh my, Mark. Dude, I swear there is a school of like 20 right here. Dude, I'm not exaggerating. Oh my, dude, if we can catch one of these pinfish and put one of those things at the bottom or even like just, what in the, those are big. Oh my God. You got all the fish that we need right here. Did you see how much they were? I know, and trying to get them to bite. That is insane. That was definitely a first for me, man. Wow. That was definitely a first. Absolutely. Absolute. Hey, you're telling this to someone who lives here. That is incredible. That is absolutely. That is incredible. That was insane. That was the first time I've ever seen them school up at this area. Yeah, man. That was. Guys, we just saw a school of red snapper. I'm not even lying. Mark can can tell y'all as well. There were about five or six red snapper um, right on top of the surface, guys. Super, super weird. Hey, Mark, they're, they're, they're right here. That is incredible, man. Absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh. Dude, there is a huge red snapper right here. He's probably 30 inches. That is so crazy. Oh, Mark, Mark, I just missed another one. It was a good size one too, dude. Dang it. Bro, I'm just literally just like casting it and just holding it steady. And, I, and I'll literally see them just come up and just like crunch it. Dude, that one was a, was a pretty good size. I have no idea how I'm gonna like actually get it up. <laughs> All right, man. All right, guys, Mark, unfortunately he had to- Mark, Mark, I'm on, Mark. Guys, I was just saying that Mark Mark just left. I'm on. <laughs> I told Mark whenever he was leaving that this is exactly what was going to happen. He was going to leave, and then I was going to catch one. This is a good one.
Nice fish, man. Super good fish right here. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, man. Let me grab the net, guys. Let me grab the net. Let me grab the net. <sighs> I knew I had bites. Oh, no! He just got off. Dang it, guys. Oh, my gosh. Dang it, dang it, dang it, guys. That was a good sheep said, too. All right, well. <laughs> At least we at least we hooked one. At least we hooked one. Oh my gosh. That was a good fish. <laughs> good luck, man. All right, brother. I appreciate it. I know, man. I I, I was too. All right, guys.